Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So, welcome back on my channel, Parth Doshi, learning by doing. <clears throat> Today in this video, we are going to build another app using UiPath apps. Now, this is going to be a very interesting one. So, many times what happened? We write a Word document, we write some information in a Word document, later we convert into a PDF. Or maybe... <clears throat> we do something else or we have any other kind of document we convert it into a pdf we save it as a word file and many other things so today what we are going to do is we are going to build a text app so what will happen is obviously won't have functions like your word or your notepad or anything like but what it will do is when you write some text in that particular app and you click on create document button it will create a word file and a pdf file for you so this is going to be a very interesting one. And this, this can be used in many other applications when we actually take the app in some real world scenario. We will be also seeing what that real world scenarios are. And in further, I will be building videos on that as well. So first, let me show you how does our app look. We'll see the complete implementation about that. So don't worry. So what is over here, as you can see, text to PDF and docs converter. So you see here, we have the complete text area. As you can see, there's a big box. And since I have my Grammarly account connected, so I will be able to solve all my mistakes as well. So when I write some particular text over here, and after that, when I click on create document, I will be getting an option to give a file name. What file name do I want to give? So once after I give that file name, what will happen is a word and a PDF document will be created. So let's see how that complete thing is done. So first, let me show you a small execution. So this is one of the blogs that I had written previously on Medium. You can follow on me on Medium as well. I write many blogs over there. Copy. And just I'm going to simply paste it over here. So now you see, I've just copied the text and this is my text editor, you can say, or a document creator for me. So what we are going to do is now we are going to click, click on create document button. So create document and now my process should start getting executed over it. You see waiting for execution to be started and it started just. So now I have the option to enter the file name. Don't. Okay. So I'm going to name it as don't. Okay. Rush your growth. So now once I've copied that, uh, written that, I'm just going to click on OK. And I'm going to monitor this folder because this is the path which I have given over here. So here my document should be available to me. So you see now it is just doing the backend processing. And we'll be soon seeing our document available over here. You see, the Word document has been created. Don't rush your growth. And now let's wait for the PDF as well to get created for the same. Okay. So as you can see, we have both the Word documents and PDF over here. And the execution is as well as completed. Last run, one minute ago. So let me just simply open the PDF. So the Word document is obviously going to be the same. So you see. We have the complete text. If we want, we can compare it. The last line is have a good day. Let's go over here. We have have a good day over here. So you see, we have the complete text converted into a PDF. So now first let's start this with building an app, then the UI path process, and then connecting both of them. So let's get started. Now you see, I've just simply created an app and what you can see over here, the first one, which is that. So what I did is I simply went to add new control. I went to display and I have a header over here, which I have just simply dragged text to PDF converter. After that, what I'm doing is I have dragged an uh, property or you can say control from input and I have a text area over here. <clears throat> so as you can see, I've just simply picked this and dragged it over here. So I have the text area where in the output where we saw where I copied the text because I obviously can't give text box because it has to be 
a big particular area as you can see so this is our text area so so you see there is no you say very much rocket science kind of thing it's very simple only two activities we have tracked and obviously the one which is required is going to be a button so on this button we are calling our ui path process so what we have done in our ui path process we will see that as well but you see this was the simplest you can say way to create a app so what we did is we have an heading we have a you said text area and we have a button on this button we are calling our ui path process we'll see that how we are calling that but before that let's see what we have in our ui path process so going towards ui path i have built this small workflow i will show you what are the steps so don't worry about that so the first one is input dialog as you saw when you executed the process i was asked to please enter the file name so this is how we are using the input dialog over here and we are asking it to be please enter the file name and its output we are storing in an argument called file name so always keep the direction as in slash out over here so this is going to be the file name now after that the activity package that you need to have is ui part dot word activities so i have ui part dot word activities package over here which i have installed from manage packages i simply go to the word activities so as now we can see over here we have different set of word activities in the package that we have installed so what i have done is i have used a word application scope in that i have given my path name and now here where i need to pass the file name dot docs there i am passing my argument <clears throat> after that we have used an append text activity in which we are passing the argument text so now this text which is there over here it is coming from the you say from the app that we are writing the particular text area from that we are passing that text over here through this argument now you see first since i need to create a word document the and extension of the file is dot docs over here now i need to save the same one as a pdf so what i am doing is i am using save document as pdf and here i am giving the same document path but here the extension is dot pdf so this is how it is creating a pdf file for me as well okay so let me just save this so what you need to do once you have built this simple workflow now you see our app was also quite simple we had one text area heading and a button that's it here we just have word activities where we are creating the word document and then we are saving it as a pdf as well so once you do this you need to click on publish and the package will be published which you need to later add to your orchestrator so let me just minimize this which i have already done so going to my orchestrator what you need to do is you need to click on add you need to select the package which i have already done so i won't do again it's text to pdf one as you can see i have done already over here and some points i see many people asking me that doubt you need to select an environment and make sure you have selected this particular option automatically start process because sometimes when you don't select it your process won't get executed and it will go into a pending condition so make sure you have selected this you can keep the priority as normal no problem in that you can select an environment for that so now once you do that going back to the app studio you need to click on add you need to click on process you need to click on your orchestrator mine is default and you need to add this process so once you add it you will be seeing different options to be added over here so this is going to be my text i am going to add over here so now you see i am adding out text but you will say this is the value going inside the ui path workflow so why out but here the concept changes here we want to send the value outside the you say outside my app no problem if it is going inside but here i need to keep it as out that's why we have kept the direction as in slash out so when it is out from here there it goes in so that's why we need to keep the direction both out slash in this is the concept also i have seen many people asking me the doubts in the comments and in personal as well so i thought i will clear that concept over here now on create document we have added a execute process 
So I'm just executing text to PDF process, which I can just, you see, drag and add over here. Make sure this is unattended and that's it. You can give some messages if you want, but even though if you want, it's required, else you can just skip this part. So in this way, what we have done is we have built our app, which has a text area, a header and a button to create the document. We have built our UiPath workflow, which has an input dialog to ask the user for the file name. After that, there's a text area and the simple button to execute our process. So in very simple steps, we have created a complete text to PDF and docs converter. You see, this is how very interesting and the use cases you see are so many. So now what are the some changes or some advancement I want you to do and build this similar kind of ad, app and post the video on LinkedIn and you can tag me as well. My LinkedIn ID will be available in the description. So now one option here, here I'm creating the word document and PDF as well. What if I want to create only word and only PDF? You can give two buttons as option. You can have two process, one which will create your word document, other one which will create your PDF. That's what you can implement. So you can give user multiple options. Other thing where it can be used. Okay. Other thing is you can give some other option. So suppose someone is entering. Uh, okay, let me think of a quick use case. I haven't planned that already. Okay, okay. Yes, what we can do is we can give different birthday templates over here. Happy birthday cards. And when the user gives a name, we can type it into a card and send that to an user. This can be a definitely a great use case, I think. I will try to make a video on this as well. So we can ask the user to choose from multiple templates, whatever he selects. Maybe we can do some heading, naming or anything as such. We can definitely try to do that. So there's another use case which you can create an image. You can ask for mail ID and it will be mailed over there. So these are the different ways you see we can twist and turn and use UI path apps in many different use cases. I hope you learned something new and you gained some knowledge and I hope you built something more amazing than me and post a video on LinkedIn and tag me as well. Thank you for watching the complete video. See you in the next video. Thanks again.